Hi guys, Daz is back with a long overdue Daz's Top 20 Selling Comic Books of the Week. This time it is episode 43 and today I'm going to be discussing the best selling comic books on eBay for the 16th of October 2019. Since CoverPrice.com came on the scene, they have become a go-to spot for watching eBay trends on comics and they scour thousands of eBay sales to governate data to spotlight the hottest selling comics. Here is this week's Top 20. As always, Let's find out if you can beat me. Most people normally do. Starting in at number 20 on our list. From 1987, I'm off to a good start. X Factor, issue number 15. This is the first appearance of the Apocalypse's Horsemen. Yeah, the Horsemen of Apocalypse. And uh, though not the same ones as are currently in House of X. They appeared in the X-Men Days of Future past and apocalypse movies i actually enjoy the apocalypse movie i'm in the minority i know it sold 14 copies had a seven day trend plus 107 percent and had a high sale cgc 9.8 went for 72 dollars i paid two quid for this i see these about all the time guys they're all right there don't overspend on this book it is the death and destruction of Angel Warren Worthington the third. Number 19 on our list. And this is a, a nice cover, but there are just so many variants of and uh, covers to this issue that I've given it a miss. Spawn 301. And the book in question is this one. This is the Opena variant spawn issue 301 the apenna variant that is our number 19 this week guys what can i tell you about it well uh, it's a cool cover and it's got decent interest it sold 14 copies this past week had a seven day trend of plus 107 percent and a high sale wall went for ten dollars up next number 18 on our list good to see this book X Factor issue number six. This is the first full appearance of Apocalypse. Yeah, N. Savannah again from X Men Days of Future Past and the Apocalypse movie. What can I tell you about it? Well, Apocalypse is all over the House of X books at the moment. And his first appearance is getting some new love after X Men Age of Apocalypse tarnished this key book. Like I said, I didn't think it was that bad a movie. Was it the best? No. But again, I like Dark Phoenix as well. It sold 13 copies, had a seven day trend of plus 128%, and a high sale CGC 9.6 went for $90. I paid 14 quid for mine in the middle of 2017. Um, it's only, like I say, mid grade, and uh, it's got a bit of spine roll. I'd like to upgrade this at some point. I sold a copy though recently. Number 17 on our list, um, we are getting some love for Yasmin Putri. And it is Deceased, issue number five, the horror car stock variant. A nice cover, this one, I like this. I don't buy solely for covers anymore, because I just haven't got the room or the expenditure to do it, with books now costing four pounds for a new one. But uh, I do like that cover. And who doesn't love a good homage cover? Now, this one isn't obvious as most. This pays homage to a recent film, The Curse of La Lorena. Haven't got a clue, guys. Not a clue what that is. But it sold 17 copies at a seven-day trend of plus 97% and a high sale raw went for 10 bucks. 16 on our list. This one always seems to do quite well. This is Venom, Lethal Protector, issue number one from 1993. Now, like with the first Venom film, this classic cover is starting to get some love interest again. As we hear new gossip about the upcoming sequel. Of course, we're getting Shriek in it, aren't we? And uh, we're also returning, of course, as Carnage. Now, I paid just 50p for this. It's mid-grade. It's got a subscription crease, but, you know... It's a nice one to have. 
Of course, there are other more expensive variants of this book. I think it was a gold one that cost for some mega money. We sold 16 copies at a seven day trend of plus 105% and a CGC 9.6 went for $55 recently. 15 on our list. About time these cropped up. House of X, issue number four. The regular cover, guys. That is our next book on our list. What can I tell you about it? Well, of course, it's finally here. We have a good X title. And I'm in the minority of not having read a single issue of Powers of Ten or House of X. It sold 18 copies at a seven day trend of plus 96% and a high sale raw went for 11 bucks. 14 on our list is a nice New York Comic Con uh, variant from Christopher. And it is a Spider Woman cover. From John Tyler Christopher. Look at that. That's a beauty. I'm a big believer on a spec book, and that is Marvel Spotlight issue 32. It's just a matter of time before Jessica Drew turns up in the MCU. Yes, yeah, Spider Woman. You need to get that book soon. Well, this variant, of course, is from 2019. Uh, a CGC 9.8 set of those would look good on anyone's shelves. With that red cover it sold 19 copies at a seven day trend of plus 92 percent and a high sale raw went for 55 dollars guys 55 good stuff number 12 on our list probably one of the best selling books on ebay seems to be in my top 20 an awful lot just sells and sells spawn issue number one yeah we are getting a new Spawn film at some point with Jamie Foxx. Well, I don't know whether Jeremy Renner is going to be in it anymore <laughs> with the news we're hearing. But uh, either way, it's still a great book. It's the second title ever published by Image Comics. Look, it's got some stunning McFarlane art. It's the first appearance of so many characters. Uh, Jason Wayne, Mel Boglia, Wanda Fitzgerald, Sam and Twitch, Percival. It's the first solo Spawn title. Not his first appearance. I think that's Malibu 14. But this book from 1992 is a winner. That's for sure. 21 copies it sold. It had a 7 day trend of plus 88%. And a high sale CGC 9.8. Went for 128. I think that's creeping up somewhat. Uh, good old Carby Tony delivered this one. £1.31. And it's a nice graded book. A legend. Really delivered. Number 11 on our list is our first runner up to the big top 10, and that is Deceased Issue 4, the Cardstock Matina variant. Of course, Joker is getting a lot of love at the moment due to Joaquin Phoenix. And guys, believe the hype is real. It is a stunning film, cinematically gorgeous. The score is beautiful. The noir setting, fantastic. And Joaquin Phoenix, if he doesn't win an Oscar, there's something seriously wrong. Well, Matina has a lot of love. And uh, those deceased covers seem to do quite well. It sold 17 copies. Had a 7-day trend of plus 112%. And a high sale roll went for $9. Now, we're into the big top 10. And starting in at number 10 on our list. New York Comic Con. We're getting Ghost Rider issue number 1. A limited variant that's your book guys can't imagine too many of you will have that not even snizzle pop it sold 22 copies and the average raw sale now is going for 28 dollars of course ghost Rider just got cancelled didn't it uh, it was going to come to hulu uh, but no more and this is a book i did a hot comic book alert on and it is a book that is coming out in sometime in this uh, in November I believe and that is Undiscovered Country from Image Comics well the New York Comic Con black and white uh, pre-release uh, came out with a full issue of the upcoming option Scott Snyder and Charles Soule series there it is guys that's the book the cons in America are much better than ours they have all these exclusives but that sold 15 copies this past week and the average raw sale now $46.34. The premise sounds good. I think it's Mad Max meets Walking Dead. So, uh, yeah, I'm bored with that. 
Number eight on our list, more X guys, more X, and it is Powers of X issue number two. This is a reveal of Moira's many lives. There we go. We sold 24 copies and the average raw sale for Powers of 10, sorry, Powers of X, Powers of 10 is now $11.25. More love for Spawn now on number seven on our list, and that is Spawn issue 301, the one in 25 Virgin McFarland variant. And this is a beauty too. Variant for the landmark Spawn issue. 43 copies have been sold of this book, guys. Good stuff indeed. And the average raw sale now, $15.63. That is good for a one in 25. I've seen this one out and about, I'm sure I have. Number six on our list is Absolute Carnage, Immortal Hulk, issue number one, the Codex variant. This is where Venomized Hulk uh, ties into the popular Venom Carnage crossover. That's your book, guys. That book sold 25 copies, and the average raw sale now, $55.91. Mental. 9.8s are out there, and on average, they are selling for 150 bucks. Number five on our list, sticking with powers of 10. This is issue number six. This is the Decades or Decades variant. That is a nice looking cover. So many variants, though, it's destroying it for me. 21 copies have sold of that book this past week. The average raw sale now, $11.17. This is a good one. This is a Bolland, I think it's a Brian Bolland variant. This is Joker, Year of the Villain, issue number one. Like I said, the Bolland variant. That is our number four book, guys. A nice cover, but I still think I own the best Joker cover of the year, and that was Jim Lee's uh, sketch variant. Sold 44 copies. The average raw sale now $47.20. It's a hard to find. And uh, DC did not ship that many out. So Diamond and DC didn't put too many out of that book, apparently, guys. And number three on our list is a book I eventually will get because I'm a huge, huge Atman fan, especially as Wolverine. And the book in question, Wolverine, issue number one, from 1988. I've passed on ratty copies anywhere from about 10 to 20. I want a nice book if I'm getting that one. Now, the of course, the X-Men resurgence is carrying on. And this is the first appearance of Patch. And the first Wolverine ongoing series. It's a big key issue. It sold 34 copies. And the average raw sale now, $26.99 for that book. That came out in 1988. And the average graded copy now for 9.8, $151. Number two on our list, sticking with Wolverine. And this is uh, the first Wolverine solo series, a classic issue from 1982. Again, I need to get it. Wolverine issue number one. That is a fantastic cover. Sold 26 copies. The average raw sale now $35.80 and the average graded 9.8 is out there for 225 bucks. And that leads number one on our list. And I made a hot comic book alert about it. Um, we are getting the Hulu series of uh, Halstrom. And this book has been heating up somewhat because of that, but it's got a lot of first appearances in it. Our number one book this week, guys, is Ghost Rider, issue number 28. Yep, this is the first appearance of the caretaker who's going to be appearing in the Hellstrom series. Now, he first appeared in the um, Ghost Rider movie, in the first Ghost Rider movie starring Nicolas Cage. I think he was played by uh, Sam Elliott, if I'm not mistaken. But it's also the first appearance of Lilil and the Midnight Suns. So we're getting bang for your buck. And on top of that, we've got the first appearance of the Night Stalkers team who were in the Blade Trinity movie. Uh, that included uh, Ryan Reynolds as Hannibal King. So what a great book. And it sold 28 copies this past week. The average raw sale now is $7. I paid £2.50 for mine. That's the uh, one that's not in its uh, protective plastic sleeve. I've got the one. 
in the protective plastic sleeve still. So, got a couple of these. I've passed on one on an AOK. I keep finding these. They are out there, guys. So, an average graded copy now is going for $115. Crazy, crazy stuff. That's it, guys. That is that's his top 20 this week. Sorry, I was a little bit later. It was mum's birthday over the weekend. So, I've been a bit busy. But I haven't done well. Because I've only got one, two, three, four, five out of 20. Those Xbooks are killing me still. Thanks for the support. I stand at a world record. 737 subscribers. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. That's that over now. Bye for now.